What's up, hockey fans? Welcome to a video only edition of Pod Snipe Selly. Not doing this one live. Pod He's Snipe Selly's YouTube page. He's Joel. I'm Dan. Joel, welcome to the show. How are we doing tonight, buddy? Oh, I'm good. Nice Sunday night. The NFL bets are hitting. The Bears actually won a game. And we are about to start our, I don't know, like 11th or 12th annual fantasy hockey draft. That... We've been doing this a while. I think this is uh, this is year number nine for this league, but we've been, yeah. It's more than that. I'm pretty sure it's nine. Let me, let me take a look. The history only goes back eight years, so I know that much. Yeah. But as we did last year, this is only the second time we've done it on Pod Snipe Sally, and now we're doing it on the YouTube channel. We bring in two of our biggest fans and also two members of the league. HP and Joey are joining us. What's up, boys? Welcome to the What's show. What's going on, guys? Cheers. Thank you for Cheers. hopping on. All the way around. Thank you for hopping on the first inaugural Pod Snipe Sally YouTube video, even though all of our episodes are also on YouTube, so check those out too. But this is dedicated to YouTube. And the draft starts at 30 seconds, by the way. We did this kind of funnily. 30? I'm at 13. Fine. So while we're doing that, uh, Joey, let's, let's start with you here, Joey. Uh, what are you drinking tonight? Got a little Penrose uh, Dank Boots. Ooh, I like Dank Boots. I like Love it. Shout out to my... Ooh, somebody's got the draft music queued away up there. Sorry. That's all well, good. Well, the draft is officially started, and with the first overall pick, this is a keeper league. I have the first overall pick, and to absolutely because nobody... Dan called this three weeks ago. To I absolutely have to prove it. To absolutely nobody's surprise, our baby boy Connor Bedard is coming to my fantasy hockey team. <laughs> because of fucking course he does. Baby boy, stop. And like our I, I can't not cuss about that. I will forever be mad about that. That in the keeper league, Joel just so happens the commissioner hey, just hey, so happens hey, to get the first random. overall pick. It's I random. Call collusion. I call corruption. I want an investigation from the FBI. Bring it on. <laughs> Garbage. Oh, yeah, this is, that's, that's bogus. That's that's straight bogus. The fix is in it's like yeah, the Vikings man. game today. It's a fix. You are, I have the me, I have the message from Dan. Where is it? I, I sent you the, the screenshot of it. Uh, Yo, you're it up next, September my man. September 23rd. Yeah, I know. I'm having a crisis I, right here. I oh, said no. I'm going to make a bold prediction. There it is right there. Posting here to call the shot. Joel lands the first pick in our keeper league this draft this year and <laughs> takes Bedard. I called that weeks ago that this yeah. was going to happen. Look, okay, I, let's let's be honest. That could have been called the minute they won the draft lottery. If he had, yeah, I, I mean, we knew Bedard was going first in the keeper draft. We just didn't know that Joel was going to be the one who ended hey, up with that lottery. Neither did I, I man. Neither did I. Are sure you sure you didn't finish. know? You sure? All right, all right. Now I call so know. many shenanigans. <laughs> Also, oh, our super fan Mateo is also in the league, and he is picking next right now. Um, Mateo, his his so, first pick of our draft. While we maybe we'll we'll roll through all of our who we kept uh, after okay. this after the first round, quote unquote. Okay. Uh, but we uh, for for anyone who doesn't know, we do a four keeper league. Um. Yeah. We didn't we didn't do keepers for the whole time. We started doing keepers like what four years oh, ago, I think. Four or five years ago. Yeah, it wasn't all that long ago. I think it was five, maybe. Something like that, yeah. Because I know I somehow That was your suggestion, I think. Well, I suggested it a while ago and then we somehow reset things to where I, I will take that fault. It, but like things like because broke. I had Connor Bedard. Or I no, you Connor and Connor McDavid. McDavid. I Connor and McDavid. She- in the keeper league, <laughs> Joel why messed it up so and then ends up getting. <laughs> I end up getting Connor back. McDavid. <laughs> yeah, commissioner. Have, no, Canadians. you, have, you but, have no idea how hilarious that because I was like, I felt so bad that the settings got messed up, and I'm like, all right, guys, let's just mm-hmm. we could just everyone and I had everyone vote. I was like, we could just keep who you had, and everyone's like, no, let's do a fresh restart. And I was like, do we just want to randomize the order? Yeah, let's randomize the order, like you know most fantasy leagues. Cool. So we did it, and I we we popped into the draft, and I'm like, no way, this isn't gonna look good. I have so, first overall. <laughs> so that and now Bedard, there's I definitely I, there's something going that's on. That's why it looks it's a little fishy. odd. It's fishy. Something's it's rotten. I'm telling it's you. NFL levels of fishy up in here. <laughs> Joey, I that's like really a script, like- man. That's a script. It's worse. It's a worse script than the NFL. 
I Joey, mean, I like the pick that you made here, uh, Elias Pettersson, as mm-hmm. uh, your first pick off the board. Yep. Yeah, I, I was going back and forth between him and Jack Hughes. I'm a huge Jack Hughes guy, but I couldn't let Pettersson go. I couldn't. Yep. Our, to be in all seriousness, when we were we were like, so Dan and HP and I were doing a draft in a different league right before this, and I think I had, oh, I, I got first overall in that one too. I'm not the commissioner no, in that. I'm not the commissioner in that. Oh, no, I got second. You're right. I'm sorry. Um, but, uh, I noticed, like I, ju- I jumped into our draft and saw like, wow, no way. Like I got first overall, I legitimately drug juggled. I was like, do I take counter Bedard or do I take Jack Hughes? And that was actually a legitimate juggle for me. <laughs> it's a, it's a tough, I was, I was not, I did not know which way to go, but the more I thought about it, mm-hmm. but it's okay. Cause like, well, I'm sure enough, Jack Hughes was the next one off the yeah, board. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, mean, right. Patterson, Patterson I was hoping I would get Hughes to fall to me. The, the way our league works, too, with how we do the categories instead of points, like Elias Patterson is huge because he's going to get you goals, he's going to get you assists, and he's going to win yeah. an ass load of face-offs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Hughes, Hughes is, too. I mean, I, Hughes, I think Hughes could legitimately <laughs> – I mean, I know it's hard to say this with Connor McDavid being who he is, but Jack Hughes, I think, will be no lower than fourth in points this season. I, I think he legitimately oh, it, has that kind of upside. Very well could be. And and the uh-huh. Devils are, are on the up-and-coming move. I mean, they yeah. have just been oh, a, a force the past couple of years. So mm-hmm. he's he only gotten better. Which, speaking of, I, I can't, with him sitting right here, not take Timo Meyer. Yeah, yeah that's a smart Speaking idea. of subtle that guys. Was, that was smart. <laughs> the obvious choice. Yeah. I, I love Timo Meyer. Loved him as a shark. He's going to be continue to be so good with the devils he's gonna be better with the devils speak we're gonna continue with the devil's talk i need Nico oh here. god damn it Ooh. i almost hp goes he sure hp i had him last year and i actually I need, thought I about it it's gonna win face-offs i thought and about naming goals. him one of my i thought about naming him one of my keepers <laughs> and then i decided oh, yeah. mateo sprinting to the podium to take uh morrissey, morrissey. on that one i think he might have auto drafted the prison first mike's draft. hosers is up so that's a great. I'm gonna just ping him and make sure he's in the draft, just just to be on the safe side. Well, here. While I'm making my pick, HP, what are you drinking? Uh, the finest thing Minnesota has to offer, uh, oh, Mick Golden Light. Golden Light, great choice. I had my last one last night, man. Your this last is- one? Yeah, Golden Light, Mick Ultra. I, I when I go down to St. Louis, I get it. Oh, you get it. okay. Mick Ultra is not the same thing, though. No, Golden Light. Golden. Light. Okay, good. Yeah, all the way. Oh yeah, Golden Knights so much better. You know what? I gotta go with Jacob Chicken. That's an interesting like pick. I kind of like it though. It's it's more of an offensive upside defenseman, but I didn't keep any defensemen, so I kind of have to focus on defensemen. <laughs> yeah, and what have I done? Done no defensemen on my first two picks. You know what? Oh, it does look right. like Mateo's. Oh right, I do back to back. That's right. Uh, well. Uh, yeah, that's what happens when you get the first overall. Pick. Yeah, we'll dip mm-hmm. and you get the back to back. Yeah, that's that, that does happen. That does happen, doesn't it? Shenanigans. Yeah, it's okay. Well, then I'm gonna Six. argue. I'm gonna argue this might be a reach, but I just, oh. <laughs> I just put in my queue. I don't. I don't, I don't draft for, I don't pick for another thirty years. I gotta. I gotta grab him. <laughs> Uh, but I, anyway, I had literally been... just put him in my queue. I let's, just hit the uh, button. Let's go through our four keepers. Dan, who were your four keepers? So my four that I went with, um, I went two forwards, one D, one goalie. I, I feel like just for a keeper strategy for this type of a league, that's a good way to go. Get some balance across the board. Um, so the forwards, I went two of the top centers in the game. I went with Austin Matthews and Sidney Crosby. Um, Crosby, by the way, I, I think has a uh, heart trophy upside this year, um, especially with bringing in Eric Carlson. The, the Penguins are going to be a wagon. Um, Versus Tank and stay healthy. I, I actually might agree with you. Yeah, I if, if that don't. team stays healthy, that it, just a great fit. Matthews, you know what you're getting there. He's going to score a bunch of goals. Um, defenseman, Adam Fox, had to keep him. Just a, a points machine yeah. for the Rangers. And then uh, in goal, Jake Ottinger. Um he was the, the best of the goalies I had last year and, and needed to keep him around. Love it. Um, 
As for my keepers, I did what did I do? Three four. Yeah, I did three forwards and a goalie. So goalie, I had to keep Igor Shosturkin. He's yeah. he's my boy. Makes sense. He's he's like the perennial Vesna favorite outside of Vasilevsky and also outside of um, uh, who did we just talk about, Dan? Sorokin, we were saying. Goaltenders, yeah. Yeah. Um, and Ottinger, I guess, as well. So, mm. But then along with that, obviously, I kept Connor McDavid. And then along with him, I kept Artemi Panarin and Mitch Marner. Kind of surprised those... you Patrick Kane. Well, he's not on a team. He's he's our boy, but <laughs> yeah, he's, not, he's your boy. He's not our boy. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's get that he's, straight. Excuse me, he's our diagonal Joey and I's boy. Oh, okay, all right, there you go. <laughs> if you say so. And he's well, also he's future, he's future Minnesota Wild star Patrick Kane. So. <laughs> no, man, he's going I back with the cap. This show. <laughs> yeah, actually, he, I will he retire from hockey only if he wants five dollars because that's all we have to give him. It's true. We we cannot. <laughs> We literally cannot afford him at a league minimum deal. Well, what, well, the good news is at this point, since he's got three cups, he's not chasing cups, so he could actually, you know, join you guys. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Again, he wants. We can't afford. We can't afford to call anybody up. You think we're going to be able to afford Patrick Kane? <laughs> They're sending I mean, Teddy Walker for... down for the first like nine weeks or not nine weeks. Nine I mean, he has one hip. Games. So that they can have enough. Uh, no, he things. has he has one normal hip, and now he has a hip made of steel. <laughs> Bionic. Hip. Is it steel, or did he go the porcelain route? I actually don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't put porcelain in your hip. He either went Terminator or he went Kohler. <laughs> I'm glad somebody understood that joke. Damn it! Hey Joel, what are you sipping on there? Let's see here. This is blackened Metallica's whiskey. Okay. Mm. I actually am almost out of it. It was actually a birthday present from my girlfriend for my 27th birthday. I'm now 29, so it's 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 aged very nicely, actually. It tastes even better go. than it did when I first opened it. <laughs> Typically does. Yeah. That's why HP over there, H, yes. uh, you need to be, you should be, you should uh, try that Old Forester out live on our YouTube. Old Forester? Oh, you mean or, I'm sorry, your your Buffalo, Buffalo Trace. Buffalo, Buffalo Trace? Yeah, your Buffalo oh, Trace. Oh, I love Buffalo Trace. Oh, it's yeah. What, you said it's six, seven years old now? This was so. a wedding present from 2016, so it's seven years old now. Oh, I wow. think, oh that's going to taste great. You should, I think you should take a little swig. Do, right. it, do, it, do it for the YouTube. Right now? For the, the two. My, uh, my for Peoria the friends uh, will appreciate this. Last weekend, we were in Peoria visiting my in-laws, and we went to uh, Time. And, oh, hell yeah. Uh, Love that place. Oh, they shit, have way talk. more bourbons than I remember. Uh, really? I, I Who distracted sat there me? for about 25 oh. minutes to, to deciding what I was going to choose. Hmm. going to wipe this glass out. God, Joel, you, you almost distracted me. I'm sorry. See, that was oh, all part of his plan. Look at that. You ended up getting Heisken back? I got Heisken, yeah. I got him back. I had him on my team. Oh, yeah. So uh, while we're doing that, too, while, while, while he's getting ready. Well, uh, Joe, who were your four keepers? Yeah, you know, it was tough. I decided to go hard and heavy with the uh, with the forwards. I kept four forwards. But looking at some of the forwards I had, I couldn't afford to lose goals. Um, mm -hmm. I kept uh, Kempe, uh, obviously Dreisaitl, Kucherov, and Kachuk. Um, I mean, all 30. Oh, I think it. all 35 which, which plus Kachuk, goals. Which Kachuk, just to, to Brady, clarify right? here. Brady, Brady, oh, Brady, Brady, okay. Yeah, yeah that's, that's why we got to ask. I uh, yeah, just no, all the other draft totally. we did tonight. I ended up with both Kachuk, yeah, with both of them. So yeah, no, I yeah. Uh, I couldn't give up goals in that. Uh, not with those four. You can't give up no. those four. No, not at all. Well, and Kempe this year, I think with uh, the Kings out west, I think there's a really, really good shot that they could take that division. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they'll put up a great fight in the playoffs too. The hosers did me a solid right there. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's all good. Come to me, Dougie. Again? You took... Hell yeah. That's, that's twice. I know. Officially makes him your boy. And along with him... Is Mac Biombo? Give me Zach Wierenski. Damn it. Oh, good. Come back home. We'll, we'll gladly take him back. Oh, oh okay. very, good. very good. Well, I had to really focus on defense. Now I can start going. Now I can start having some fun. 
I just I'll I didn't be honest with you. Uh, Prison Mike's hosers are going to score some goals this year. That's for sure. So is, you know what? I can't even say my team name because like, no, not because I'm not allowed to. I just I'm going to change it. It was my last year's name. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to make my first and hopefully only homer pick of the draft. Was it Gustafson? No. Oh, no it was Carter. oh Joel Erickson. Erickson. Yeah. And on that note, you picked a homer pick while Dan makes his next pick. HP, who are your keepers? Uh, my keepers were I have Andre Vasilevsky, who I know is out for four weeks, but you absolutely do not get rid of him. Uh, yeah, four I degree. I think of a difference. <laughs> now, plus, uh, it's an easy move to IR right after the yeah. draft. So what you, so I can, what you, maybe, yeah. I can pick up another goalie two. for four weeks. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah. maybe you go two and two as a result. Like, yeah. Yeah, and that's yeah. probably at worst. Like, it's not going to make a big deal. Plus, uh, if your goalie is the difference between you being like four and zero to start the year or two and two, like there are, there are some other problems. Uh, yeah, there's your bigger team. problems. Yeah, there's other problems. issues you should probably address. <laughs> yeah. uh, Kale McCarr. I mean, you don't yeah. get rid of Kale. Oh, McCarr, that's so horrible. Why would you? Why would you ever keep Kale McCarr? Uh, my forwards are not as strong as I would like, and that was probably from bad keeping in my past couple of seasons. But Sebastian Ajo, who's not terrible, That's solid, but he's solid. Not a uh, Stanley Cup favorite team. I mean, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then uh, Mika Zibanejad, who uh, is a thirty goal scorer. So, and he was. I mean, he also decides to just go off for four goals at random moments right. in every season. You know? <laughs> Yeah, threat for 100 points plus to win your faceoffs. It was him or Miro Haskinen, and then I ended up with Haskinen in the draft anyway. So it all comes back around. We'll take that. All right, we're gonna try the Buffalo trace here. Ooh, I love it. it. Yes, let's go. Oh, that's good. See, it's what <laughs> birds. Whew. Mm. Came out of my nose. That's that's one of my favorite drinks. Fun, fun fact, it's, it's that, very good. That is my favorite bourbon in. To put in an old fashioned. Yeah. We had Buffalo. Ooh, I, I go Four one. Roses for an old fashioned mm. just to four make roses. Some, and, if I'm going to sip, if, if oh, sip and sip, I'll do Buffalo Trace. Joey's got a point too. I think if I had to pick like a 1A, 1B below Buffalo Trace, Woodford in, a, in an old fashioned would be yeah. my like 1B. I'll, uh, I'll give you guys a reveal of the little birthday present I'm making fast work through because Abby got me two of them, not one. Field of Dreams. Whoa, Ooh, interesting. Okay, Is that actually made with the corn lot? from Field of Dreams. I've been telling made with the corn. Tim, wow. Oh, that's. I've been sick. telling people that uh, Tim Anderson's home run at the Field of Dreams hit the ear of corn. Uh, that was made. <laughs> that is in your bottle. I like it. I, uh, I also I like think it. that might have been Tim Anderson's last home run. So, um, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> Uh, I, um. <laughs> right, you, you reminded me. How are the uh, Minnesota Twins doing tonight in game two? Ooh, I'll, get, I'll, get that I'll check. Up. Still I'll three check. nothing Twins. Bottom Is it really? Four. Let's go. Bottom four. Yep. Pablo Lopez real talk, Keeling. though, um, that Minnesota Vikings game, man. Oh, oh no. I, I, listen, <laughs> being a Bears fan, <laughs> do not root for the Vikings, but – Man, I'll be honest. It seemed at times like uh, the NFL didn't want Taylor's boy to lose. No, they I don't did think not. they want the Chiefs to lose. Well, that's the other narrative, but still. Yeah, I mean, when Travis Kelsey throws a punch and doesn't get ejected, he that's. I mean, we're gonna argue about that. And he then had every and right then on the pass interference they didn't call on Addison. Yeah. Maybe I agree with it, but I the guy took that. his helmet off. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and the ref was legitimately telling him, like, "Hey, put that helmet back on." <laughs> you can see his lips back. Back. put it back on. <laughs> there was no argument there, like, because I was just like, I mean, I guess they picked up the flag. Like, I they, they played the replay. I'm like, all right, that might that actually is probably a good call. Pick up. But again, flag. we saw that call helmet off. I'm like, oh, hold on. Week against the against the Jets. Oh, that was yeah. past the last I week. I know. Oh man, we're getting through this draft pretty quick. No, we're fine. We haven't even been announcing who we're picking all the time. No. That's all right. No, we, we, read the we read the teams off at the end. It's, it's a pod snipe we silly after dark. The so. Actually, after we read the dark. after dark. We read the picks <laughs> last year as we did them, and I think it kind of derailed shit. So we'll just read them all. We'll read off our teams at the end. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe we should put these up. Do a do a poll. Who's got the best team? That's um, the plan for for a keeper lead. I think that's a solid plan. I'm surprised Joel hasn't picked his boy yet. He already did. It was a first overall. Yeah. No, no. His his original boy. He plays defense. 
Seth Jones? Jonesy. <laughs> Jones. <laughs> when I tell you, I literally put him on my do not draft list. Don't you, don't you, knock, don't you knock Seth Jones, all right? There were three players I put on my do not draft list this year. Evander Kane, Tony D'Angelo, and Seth Jones. I mean, he's going to be on a power play line with Connor Bedard. So well, that's your, that's it's your funny. I, I texted my old man uh, yesterday because mm-hmm. he got a 20-game plan for the, for the Hawks. And I, nice. I think he made a mistake. He goes, what do you mean? I said, Bedard didn't even score in the preseason. Kid's a bust. <laughs> <laughs> we, were telling, we were telling Joel all summer the, that Fantilli was going to be better than Bedard. Oh, uh, you know what? Fantilli got his bell I rung. Want, hold on. Did. I want the Minnesota boys to hate me. <laughs> I don't. I'm not going to get mad at that. <laughs> no, that's, that's a good pick. Give me Matt Boldy. I got I got my homer pick. I mean, Boldy's going to score more than Eric's neck probably, but I mean, Eric's I, I, he was he was sitting there. But faceoffs hits block shots though. Yeah, that's that's those, why those I, that's why I drafted Eric. He'll get some pims too just for being in front of the net and refs yeah. just take him because Did you see uh his hit on Jamie Ben that they called for head contact? Oh, it was the dumbest thing. And and Jamie oh, Ben is just the one who hit him in the face with the stick. Yeah, spins and, around just stick just in the air. I mean, at least I got the like makeup call because I don't know that he actually got Erickson Eck. Like the stick was up. No, he got him in the head. He got him right in the face. Yeah. So so at least they did get him both and even him up. But like, my goodness, that was a terrible call. I mean, that is so like an NHL ref to just call the hit to the head that was not a hit to the head, right to the shoulder, and then just miss the blatant stick to the face. That's when you look at when you go to the ref's room between, you know, in the intermission. You see the video of that one. You go out for the next period and you go, hey, I blew that one. I missed it. I'm sorry. I'll get it next time and just own it. Like, I, I've seen, you know, it, it's obviously you have to in it. junior yeah, hockey. You got I've it. seen yeah. a couple who do that who they go back and they take a look and they're like, hey, was this close? And they'll they'll own it. Let's see where are we at here. We're around 11 of 22. We're almost halfway we're, through this we're, draft already. We're, Lion boys. We technically started around five, so. Oh, the Cowboys uh, yes, just did yes. the tush push. I know this is a hockey show, but Sunday night football. Yeah, that play is going to get uh, banned, in yeah. my opinion, because I, what's going to start know. happening? What's going to start happening is the linebackers are just going to torpedo because because they go low. Mm-hmm. So the linebacker is going to come over the top, mm-hmm. and unfortunately, Jalen Hurts is going to get his head ripped off, and they're going to ban the play because of that. That's just. It's actually a solid point. <laughs> I, my only thought is if you have the interior offensive line that can get that good of a push, they're going to like keep the play in. My only thing is like college football, like they got rid of the like you can't have somebody behind the quarterback pushing. If the quarterback yeah. is going through on his own, fine. But if you have somebody who's pushing the quarterback from behind, that's where you run into trouble. Yep. For me, that would be where you, you make that change. Yeah. Make the change. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I, I actually, you, if you can push, which right now you can, like there's there's no stopping it. You could honestly probably do it every play for a couple of yards and just chunk your way down the field, win yep. a game seven nothing just because the other team never gets the ball. That's how <laughs> that's how Hawkeye football operates. <laughs> Good old Iowa football. <laughs> I don't even want to uh, talk college football. Yeah, it's it's a rough year for. I'm, I'm all of our I'm, I'm assuming that uh, my team is five and one. <laughs> I'm assuming that uh, Joel and Joey, you guys are, are Illinois football fans when it comes to college football. That's where your allegiance lies. Not really, no. Go Irish, baby. I, I think I probably I probably lean towards Notre Dame too. Fair enough. I don't I don't like I'm trying to get into. I love. I I've really been liking it this season, but like I don't really know if I have a team like. My uncle, who passed away, loved Notre Dame, so that's why I just I adopt Notre Dame. But like, it's not just them. I don't know. I kind of like uh, them mixed with like. It's usually just whoever's fun to watch. After that, like this year, obviously USC is amazingly fun. USC to watch. pretty fun to watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, Oregon's yeah, really fun to watch too. Or Oregon's really fun to watch. I also just yeah. love their trees and their color schemes, and they just do some really cool shit with their stuff. Uh, speaking speaking okay. of college, I, I learned a piece of college, <laughs> or I guess sports trivia yesterday. Um, where was cheerleading's birthplace? Oh, it's got to be a, it's got to be a southern school. Wrong, really? Huh. Out east. 
somewhere out wrong. east. Wrong. Oh, wow. Midwest. West. Two two of you love the city sports teams. Minnesota. Iowa. Minnesota, really? Minnesota. Wow. wow. Really? Wow. I did the not know that. Were, were the cheerleaders wearing parkas while they were cheerleading? <laughs> <laughs> that's that is that yeah that's fair yeah, pom -poms, yeah right? so pom -pom and, the, and, they cut and, off the and the golden and the golden gopher like spins his head it's like a crazy i, I was that one i have well, yeah the gophers but yeah goldie spins his head yeah but yeah that's where the birthplace of uh cheerleading was according to wow. a little twitter video i saw yesterday <laughs> interesting oh or, i'm damn sorry it. Oh, not Byron, twitter, damn. X. damn it no it's twitter yeah it's twitter yeah too Oh, I drafted I was, a demon last. I was day. watching him for the last like seven picks just slowly fall. Yep. Yep. As soon as I saw Byron was there, I was like, I need another demon. Damn it. That's all right. My, uh, my, yeah, that was that was my next pick. I've got five forwards, five D, and two goalie, and that includes the keepers and the demon Fox, Cider, Nurse, Latang, Byron. Yes, but Brat. <laughs> yes, but Brat. I like it. I like that pick. Mateo, let's see what he's going to do while he's on the clock here. Did you say he was auto drafting or is he? He, he was at first, but he is in now. He's in uh, now. Okay. He, he messaged well, of course. me. And like, I like, course. thanks for the tip. Maybe Michael, who will watch this video at some point. Of course, he, he, he kept bugging me to have the draft early, and he's the only one auto drafting right now. Early? So, Michael, it, what no, are you doing? Early? How early. is this early? No, he wanted me to do it. He he was like, "Wait, when are we going to do our draft? The season starts." And he was telling me this last oh. week. I'm like, "Sir, it starts next week." <laughs> mm. Oh, it starts Tuesday. Speaking of, let's shameless plug our show tomorrow, Dan. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, tomorrow night at uh, eight o'clock, seven central. Uh, we are going to have our massive uh, season preview show going bigger with this season preview show than we've ever gone before for a season preview show. It's going to be a long one. There is a no very real non-zero chance that we go maybe two hours on this thing. Good God. Uh, we are oh, exactly. cramming Good a Lord. ton of content in, um, some betting angles, some season awards predictions as well, beyond, of course, our, our division and cup winners. Um, but we have a ton to talk about tomorrow night, so be sure to tune in for that one. Eight o'clock, seven central. It is going to be a monster of a show. It's going to be a monster of a season, and uh, we are very, very excited about that here on Pot Snipe Sally. So, yes, we are. As I take Vita, Major. yes, we are. I thought about VTech Vanishek too, Joel. I mean, just for the sheer amount of wins he'll probably get, <laughs> Joey Luke Hughes legitimate calder upside yep this season yeah pumped about it pumped that's about a great that great right pick. This value year's, too fantasy wise yep this year's calder race is going to be incredible it's i mean like we've said it's but it's bedards to lose but like there's going to be people chasing him for it of course sir. i thought about two seasons ago we were really looking at a like an iconic uh calder class this year's might be even better it's way better like, like I mean, there's yeah, it's so much. It's terrible. absolutely stacked. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna put you guys on the spot, and Joey, I'm gonna start with you. Um, if you had to make your pick for Calder vote today, I'm gonna ask this as a, a two pronged question. One, would you take Connor Bedard or would you take the field? And one B, if you're taking the field, who from the field are you taking? I I got to be honest with you. I I I would take Bedard. Um, if I was taking the field, I was about halfway through the, the season last year, very high on Fantilli. Actually talked myself into Fantilli over Bedard. Um, we, we all had to. <laughs> I, I, I think Fantilli is going to have a great year. Um, if, if I was taking the field, I would take Fantilli, but I, I it would be Bedard for me. And that's not Homer. That's the kid's going to be special. I mean, yeah. it's just, yeah. HP, how about you? Uh, I think my – like, who I'm picking – let's see. I would. I think I would take the field, not because I don't believe in Conor Bedard, because he's absolutely going to be special. It's foolish to think otherwise. 
but my pick would be Logan Cooley. And that is a little bit of a homer pick because, I mean, he is going to – I mean, he was incredible at Minnesota. I'm pissed he left uh, being a Gopher hockey fan. Gophers um, would be a lock. They would be a lock for at least the Final Four, if not a national title this year, if he, if he stayed. Um, but I think Logan Cooley would be my pick. Mm-hmm. And, again, little homer, but – not not throwing shade at Bedard. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. I'm probably gonna mirror Joey's that like jokes aside and Homer pick aside. Like I still think I would take Bedard. Mm-hmm. I I'd, I'd be taking Bedard if he wasn't Blackhawk. But if I did have to pick a field, it's like a tie for me almost between Fantilli. And Logan Cooley. Not just to appease you two. Like, I don't know. Just I mean, from what I, I'm seeing from that kid, like, holy shit, that kid's going to be nuts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, Fantilli's going to be good, too. It'd be hard to, hard to pick against him, too. But. It's just, I think, well, actually, I don't know. They're, they're on teams that obviously were garbage last year, right. but both of those teams can do better this year. I, I think the argument against Fantilli would be that, I mean, Gosh, Columbus is just a train wreck. I mean, but the, but I mean, time, as long as they stay healthy, they they didn't. Yeah, they shouldn't have been as far down. They shouldn't right. have been no. in the race for Bedard last year. They for should sure. not have. Been. No, I think it was a surprise to most people for sure. Right, and then I think once their injuries caught up with them, clearly the front office probably thought about it too, and they're like, all right, well, <laughs> at this point. No point in winning. <laughs> oh, Joel, Dan, boys Dan do you board. have one? Who took Seth Jones? I, uh, yeah, Seth Jones went. Yeah, I, it's not that I was going to take him with this uh, pick. I'm on the clock right now, um, hey, so I will get my my. Pick I'm not going Seth Jones. Quit hating. This is the deeper rounds. We we get we get a little crazy here. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. This is where things get a little tricky. Oh, Zach Hyman. Oh shit! Now it's me. Yep, needed needed to get another forward in the mix there. Oh, I know. I right. I need another D man. I like my forwards. Dan, did you give us your uh, Calder pick? Uh, so I I think the betting value. <laughs> Is probably Bedard. I haven't looked at the lines, and we'll we'll get these lines together before tomorrow night um, to see whether because that is a line on uh, FanDuel, and I believe DraftKings has it too with Bedard or the field. They do, um, and I think the plus money goes to Bedard just because he's one guy, right? But it's got to be close just because of how good Bedard is. Mm-hmm. Um, so my thought there. Betting value is probably Bedard. Um, if I'm making my pick, I, I I am torn between Bedard and Devin Levi with the Buffalo. Oh, I, yes, oh, I forgot yeah. about him. Uh, interesting. My, I don't know how I forgot about him. He's on my is, fantasy team, but as a goaltender, <laughs> and especially in a tandem where you've got Devin Levi and Uko Pekka Lukanen. Lukanen does have a little bit more experience, but he's not as battle tested. And Levi coming in as a rookie, there's going to be a legitimate chance for a 50 50 split of minutes. If you, as a rookie goaltender, are getting 40 games and as good a team as Buffalo is, if you're putting some wins together, it's really hard to have an argument against Levi if the majority of the, the, the goaltending starts are there. Yeah. And not to mention, I think Buffalo, Buffalo to me is a playoff team. Yep, I, I, look I agree. At oh God, they're they're to me they're a playoff team this year. Res, no disrespect to Chicago, they're not a playoff team this upcoming season. What disrespect? Yeah. Of course they're not. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you never know. Anything yeah, can happen. Right. And we, it, it's hard. Bedard, Bedard does not solve all our issues. <laughs> right. That if he pops off for hundred points, you, you're not going to be able to deny him a caller. But oh, I, true. I, I think if you're looking at the weight of did they make the playoffs as a factor, oh. what's more important? Let's say Bedard has 60 points on a non-playoff team. We, we can even up it to maybe 65. 
If he has more than 65, like, yeah, it's his. Lock it up no matter where the Hawks finish. If he's at, like, 60 points, and let's say Devin Levi is 22, 10, and 3, 2.6, 2.7 goals against, 908 save percentage, something like that, as a rookie to come in and put up those kind of numbers, like, to me, that, that would be a lock for Levi. That There's no question. Amazing. There's no question. The – and like you said, the not like Hawk Harrelson used to say for the White Sox on the on the announcing is don't tell Anna me what Cole? you hit, tell me when you hit it, mm-hmm. right? I mean, he's going to be in meaningful games, and if he's putting those stats yes. up, yep. I mean, it's it, it's a lock in my opinion. If Bedard isn't just thrashing through everybody, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a, it's a very valid point. Yeah, I think, and there are some others on the list who certainly merit that consideration. Um, I think, uh, as we mentioned, Adam Fantilli is certainly someone who could be in the mix. Uh, Depending where he ends up in the lineup for Toronto, Matthew Nyes. I was just going to say Matthew Nyes. Because he's probably going to get some power play time as well. Is Leo Carlson going to play up this year? Because he could be in that conversation too, depending on – He just got hurt. He he is, but he's hurt. He's hurt, okay. He's going to miss the the start of the season. And there has not been an update, which worries me with how long ago. Yeah, that's pretty concerning. Yeah. Yeah. Um, A little little troublesome there. Um, That said, he certainly would be in the mix when healthy. Um, no, No doubt about that. Um. Oh, sweet! I'm gonna double dip and get Crosby and Malkin. Sorry, I just had to throw that one out there now. <laughs> yeah, Crosby and Malkin were set. Oh, I gotta get a. Um, you know what? And looking at some of these odds, like the please, please, please use your head and listen to the show before you place your Calder bet. Because I'm looking at. Uh, I've got FanDuel up right now. Some of these guys are not going to be playing in the NHL this year. Yeah. And they're not going to be playing anywhere near enough games to qualify. Shane Wright is plus fifty five hundred. You're starting the year. Starting the year. I I think he will play up in the league this year, but he's not going to play long enough to. He's not going to play long enough to put up Calder numbers. No, right. Um, uh, uh, Jesper Valstead for the Wild. He's on there. Yep, he uh, Valstead is also at plus fifty five hundred. He's not, he'll, he see, he'll see not, four games, maybe. Yeah, he'll see four, maybe six games. Yeah, yeah. You, you're a oh, bitch. Game, man, barring, <laughs> barring an injury. Oh boy, Cooley Logan. Oh, Cooley took Logan. Cooley. Oh my I was, a, I was about to start Logan it. Cooley from all of you. I've been, I've been watching Logan. No, Cooley no, like no, you rounds. weren't. Because guess, guess who is oh, next to my queue, Mr. Him? Joel? Uh, yes. Uh, at, God, I was so ready to take him. He has been in my queue for years. Uh, yeah, he's, he was in mine for quite a while. Ah, uh, that's the first. That's a draft really good that's pick. The, that is. The first, I got. I got him in our other league. I'm excited to see how he does. Yeah, looking at the, some of these other names like um, uh, Sebastian Casa Cosa. I'm not sure how you pronounce. It. I think it's Cosa. Um, he is plus seven thousand. He's he's a uh, going to be the AHL goaltender for Detroit this year for the Grand Rapids Griffins. Um, Simon Edmondson, also in Detroit system, plus 7,000. He's probably going to be that's a, that's either a very interrupt good you. AHL or he'll be kind of sheltered third pairing minutes. Not to, not to interrupt you, I'm about to go a Vegas pair. Are you double dipping on goaltenders? No. Oh. Aiden that Hill would be and the, one and of my personal son, sleepers of the draft. Uh, eight, I, Aiden I Hill, Logan Thompson goaltending tandem just to pick those two so that you had those guys and you could just roll whoever's starting for Vegas. Wouldn't uh, hate that. Yeah, well, I took Aiden Hill because I needed a third goalie, and then Ivan Barbashev is probably that's, one of my biggest sleepers. That's opinion. pretty self-explanatory right there. He had a Yo, Ivan Barbashev, by the way, is an ex-Chicago Wolves hockey player. Of course, yeah. So is Aiden Hill, right? Yeah. I believe he was. He never. I don't think he ever played for the Wolves. It might have been oh. after my time, though. Oh, okay. I will take a look right now. Your time. Check and make sure oh, we got it. It was either him or oh, Logan Thompson. Joel. That might be a CMC touchdown. Oh baby, oh baby, come on! I'm I'm probably about 
30 seconds. Hey, you know what? Show We're going to go for some style here. We like st- Oh, son of a oh, bitch! Oh, oh, Joey, I love that pick. I love that pick. I love that pick. I God dang it. Love that pick, Trevor Zegers. I was thinking about him. I didn't want to reach. So I, I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy you got him. Happy He's been in my queue as long as Logan Cooley has. <laughs> yeah. That's... Uh-oh. We got a flag on the play, Joel. Might be coming oh, back. Oh, no, 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 no. I would like to take today to say that I have DJ Moore and oh, Jamar so Chase on my fantasy team. Oh, congrats on your win. oh yeah. Congrats <laughs> on I mean, your win. Honestly, between a, those two, congrats alone, on not you, paying like, attention to any of your other players. <laughs> yeah, would would you have won this week with just yeah. those two and nobody else in your lineup? Oh, wait. Uh, I mean, I'd be in the lead right now, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I too had DJ Moore in two of my leagues. One of those leagues is really messed up with scoring, so he put up 69 nice points. Um, nice. And I also had Justin Fields in that league, too, so that was a nice tandem. <laughs> what was that? Wait, who just said? Oh, you took Bertuzzi. Okay, I'm not, I'm not mad. Oh, also, I forgot, I forgot to say I also had Addison as my utility, like my flex spot. And he put up 23 as yeah, well. Yeah, I put him on the bench because he got so the ice last week. So, so I. Yeah, I was going to do a wellness check so on him last week. Where was he? Uh, he, he? Nowhere. He almost had a touchdown last week, but there was pass interference that kept him from catching it, which, like, if you're a DB, it was the right play to take that penalty. Oh, HP, but, spoil it for me. Did that – I just saw the personal foul. Did that – is that after the touchdown or did that take away the touchdown? You know, it, they just went. Oh to no, we're good. No, okay. it didn't take away the touchdown. Sweet. Oh no. Yep, he was also again. In my head. I was ready to take him too. Although that's there goes uh, Philly. That's my buddy. Uh, that's my buddy. Stat Ryan Stafford. He is. Uh, he's a Hawks fan, but he's mainly primarily a Blue Jackets fan. So I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm like Fantilli's going to be a very very good hockey player. Too. Yes, he is. I'm going to call it now too. It was a clean hit, but it was a douche move that hit on him in that pre in the preseason game. What, like yeah, right? clean yesterday? hit, but not in preseason, man. Come on, clean man. hit, but douche move. As, Still as clean, both, to, both, can, both can be true, as opposed to Truba's, which was douche move and dirty. behind. Well, anything yeah. Truba, it's not numbers the whole way. Anything Jacob Truba does is a douche move. I intentionally try and get Truba every year because I know the guy is going to get two hundred hits easy oh, for me, yeah. and especially in a league that counts pims, he'll rack them up. Mm-hmm. I, Although I, do I don't like say, to do pims though. Yeah, it seems like I kind mean, of a dumb stat. It rewards yeah penalties, which is weird. I, I there was a long time ago when I actually asked everyone in the league if we wanted mm-hmm. to remove it, and surprisingly, not many people wanted to remove it. <laughs> I was like, all right, okay. Yeah, uh, I think we made the right call getting rid of it because, <laughs> like, why should you we, be rewarded for hurting your team? We did. Oh yes, we did. We did. We did. We did. Yeah, this is a couple it, years ago. Ooh, Shea I, Theodore. Yeah. It's good. Pick. Oh. If I can just pick up two Golden Knights. I would have. I would have. Where am I at here? Speaking of the Golden Knights, I will be in Vegas next Saturday. Where are you staying? MGM Grand. Won a work contest. Oh, there you go. All all won a work contest. Wow. Oh, and all free. That's a, and that's a nice one to stay all at. free. Only free. Oh, shit. Other than other than gambling. Honestly. So so listen to this. So it was uh, it was through Lincoln Electric. Um, I sold the most Lincoln Electric welders in the central region uh, since the nice. beginning of the year. Nice. We get to go on a three-day trip to Vegas, MGM Grand, and we're going to the NASCAR race on Sunday. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, is it the one through the, the strip? No, no that's, that's F1. That's, oh, that's, that's F1. F1. Okay, never mind. Yeah, but what's really cool about uh, Lincoln taking us is we have access to their suite, and their suite has access to the pit. During the race. During the race. Damn. Yeah. That'll be fun. I've always That's wanted pumped. to do that at a NASCAR pumped. race. Me and my dad have never been to a NASCAR go. race, so it's going to be all out for the first one. The Na- NASCAR is going to be at the Iowa Speedway next year. Might pop over to that. Hey, yeah, Minnesota I mean, Twins uh, update place. up 5 nothing now. Let's go. Cool. Joey's hmm. on the clock. Round 18 of 20. Oh, Jonathan Huberdo was still available? Yeah, How did he, I not I find mean, him? He ain't getting any. That's, that's value this late, though. With yeah, well, yeah. Because 
coaching change, if he can get back to yeah. being like he had four straight hundred point seasons. Last season broke that streak just and I think so much of it was coaching. He can get back to a ninety to hundred point level this year. You know what? And then Calgary's in the playoffs. Damn it, Joey. I, I think I gotta do it. Well, well do I do it? Mm. I think I gotta do. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Ooh, okay. He'll sit on my bench for a little bit injured. That's fine. And along with him, let's uh, for anyone watching Jared Spurgeon is who I just took. I got two wild on my team. Wow, crazy. Who's the other one? Oh, wait a minute. I mean, this is this is just pure value right here. <laughs> Yeah, I've been oh, looking at him. Uh, I mean, Joe Pavelski this late? I'll take it. <laughs> it, it. The cliff is coming for Pavelski here, but he's still. We haven't seen it yet. He's and crazy. on a year that Dallas is absolutely going to try and make a run for the cup, I'll take him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, Dan, they're not to good. not to spoil tomorrow's show, but is Dallas still your cup pick? Don't spoil it. Tease it. Don't spoil it. <laughs> I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but. HP, you're ruining it. I, I will say, what my kind of associate pick, producer, are you? <laughs> my, my cup pick will be revealed tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, oh, there, it is. Is. there it is. Now, wait a minute. When's this published? So people might not have seen it. It, it will be uploaded immediately tomorrow. after we're done recording. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, yeah, as soon as I yeah. hit end recording, um, we can still hang out in here and chat for a few minutes after the show. Um, but I'll hit end recording. I'll get it uploaded, and we'll we'll it will be live tonight yet. So yeah, sick. Oh, this could be sneaky. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's have some fun. What is it? I didn't see it. Ellie it? told ah, twelve eleven. Twelve eleven. Jesus Christ! I was thinking twelve 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 Yeah. Okay, I had it right. I did have it right. I had it right. I was just. You know, I feel like I take this guy every year, and all he does for me is just hit and block shots. Yes. Neil Hashtag one of us. Minnesota no. Duluth boy. The, the pride of Hermantown. No. Welcome back to the Dumbo 55s. <laughs> no. That's just a hockey family, the peons. There's, what, three mm -hmm. of them that have played in the NHL, and their other brother is an equipment guy uh, for in the Colorado organization somewhere. I think he's with the, their AHL team. Wasn't there Pionk who just got drafted like in this last draft too? Yes. I think so. there's there's like four or five brothers. I can't remember. Uh I think there's one that's actually like retired by now. <laughs> Let's take a look here. See what I can find. This doesn't this isn't giving away a pick because I'm not gonna pick him, but I still think one of the funniest names in the league is Boone Jenner. That's the funniest name in the league? Oh, sure. It's just like, you know, I picture a guy named Boone. He's just, I mean, it is, yeah. <laughs> like, is he on the bench just dropping zins and pounding PBRs? <laughs> no, no, the name like Boone, it's straight Copenhagen. It's not zin. Right. Joey, when are we going to a Hawks game? You name the time. So, you know, Joel, I actually was thinking about you the other day because they have this new ticket <laughs> package. Yeah. Imagine they have this that. New ticket package. It's oh. the game day experience package. <coughs> What's that? So, for example, 300, 300 level ticket, 55 bucks. You get a tour of the locker room, tour of the practice facility, open skate at the practice facility, and a pregame buffet. For 55 bucks? 55 bucks. Holy shit. You've um you've you've piqued my interest. <laughs> you've piqued my interest. I'm not even a Hawks fan. <laughs> Come on down for a Hawks wild game. Actually, yeah. No, I've been to their practice facility. It's shit. Don't tour it. 
They are about to spend a, a few million dollars rehabbing it. It's okay. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, I hate that ring. Who cares? So Fifty-five bucks for a ticket in a buffet? Let's just go for that. Just I as mean, long as as yeah, long as still during that, my interest. I just hate Fifth Third Arena. As, with a as long as passion. during that, uh, as long as during that practice facility skate, I don't have to embarrass myself in front of Connor Bedard. Well, how I can't skate. <laughs> I I, I, I don't think they let you on the ice. He's not going to be there. (laughs) I I, I assumed so, but I just have to think of that that tiny chance that they're all there. (laughs) They got got stands there for you to sit in, Joel. Perfect. My favorite thing about (laughs) Connor Bedard is that he's not standing for people standing on the logo. I I do like that. I do like that. Oh, I I love that. I saw a lot of people saying, well, why is there a logo on the floor in the first place? It's like, you got to put the logo somewhere. Yeah, because there is. Move on. <laughs> yeah, <it's> just <laughs> ah, HP. I was looking for him and I couldn't find him. Owen Power. Yeah, I was, I was looking for him and I just, I, I just kind of gave up on looking for him. Well done. Beat me to it. Dude, Fifth Third Arena. Uh, I think this almost is claimed my life because I, because for some reason they thought it was a great design idea to put a pillar to like occur across support beam right. The only way to get to the bench. <laughs> I mean, that just sounds like I, a huge problem. <laughs> I mean, I slipped and fell on the because the only way to get off the bench is like you have to climb over this beam. For the for the record, too, this Dan just mentioned he picks this guy for hits. I picked this guy for hits for points, and now he's on a like just offensive juggernaut, and he is one of the most underrated players in the league. Max Domi, welcome to I do, I do like Max fantasy. Domi. <laughs> I, do I like mean, that. welcome to that's got to be Kane. Until I if, change. If you want to get excited for Toronto's third line center, uh, who's it, going to hit everything that by God moves? Yeah, yeah. In in his eleven minutes a night, maybe twelve. He'll play more than that. Yeah, I doubt yeah, it. I don't know. <laughs> With see, I have a Toronto's new top two year. lines stacked as they are. Yeah, I mean, I, I like Max Domi. Stack. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, Max Domi, he fits on on the team in in the role that he's in, right? Yeah. I mean, he's not going to be the offensive juggernaut on that squad like he was with the Hawks. Mm. No, but well, yeah. And looking long term, you're probably putting what? like right now. I'm looking at daily faceoff and how they have their line combination set. Screw they have you, Domi as the second line left wing, <laughs> but they have Matthew Nyes at third line left wing. That's not right. If you're looking long term future of the team. Nyes is on that second line yep. over Domi. Says you. Says common sense. Says you. Yeah, and, and watch <laughs> it play out. Says you. the same way my I like that pick, Joey. Joel getting the first overall pick. My guy. Guard. True Dowdy. <laughs> this late, good value. Yeah, it's true. Let's see. Oh, let's Matt Shane revamping his career in Dallas. Let's, you heard, it. You heard it here first. I have the – oh, absolutely. That's a solid pick. Mark's oh, yeah. Mark's still – oh, man. Mark's I Mark's thought about him. taking him. He's been in my queue oh, for a you, while. Oh, shoot. Ah, never mind. You know what? That's okay because I have uh, – uh, I already have, I think, two Rangers now. Yeah, so I, I didn't need another Ranger. I have the Mr. Irrelevant pick, though. The very last pick in the draft. Who will it be? Then by the end of it, we all have to read off our things. Yerp. Yarp. I need a good. This is the only hockey draft I'm in where I we actually like I do actually pick until the very end. I mean I pick till the very end in all of them, but like this is the only one where I'm like, no no no, I'm actually gonna put thought into the last pick. <laughs> Oof. Purdy with a for oh, it. unfortunate. Yeah, wow, this is the too longest deep for that. You know what? First there we go. I like that. I wonder. Right, how long is? 
Wow. Okay. The the player I'm going to take with my last selection, they literally have no projected stats for this player. None? Which is amazing to me because he projects to be on the Avalanche's top line. Give me Jonathan Drouin with the last pick. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Solid. Because with uh, Landeskog out, their top line is Drouin, McKinnon, and Ransman. Jonathan like Drouin could be a really high-value pick there. First-line player, potentially. Revamping his career round. in Colorado? Right. Could be. Could be. My last pick. Oh, hold on. He's not done Joey. yet. I'll wait for Joey. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I have two. So. I think I'm going to sell high on this guy. And my last, last pick, I could always make adjustments, but. Nice. I love it, honestly. Ooh, Lucas. I love it. Lucas, right? I, love I mean, that. get him on with Bedard, man. Oh yeah. No, well, actually, yeah, no. They're gonna, yeah. I think they're going to split lines. They're going to be like the tapes and K where they don't play on the same line unless shit goes south. Maybe. I mean, to start oh, out throwing hey, together. Joel, I'm just going to throw this out there. This is a keeper league. If you really want to, you can take Oliver Moore with this pick. <laughs> Stop it. That's true, but I'm not. All, no. uh, speaking of Oliver Moore, go for it. What I am going to do, though, with the Mr. Irrelevant quote unquote pick, and this will tease our season show tomorrow. Because I think this guy is on his way to getting traded to a much better team, and that is going to inflate his numbers. Brock Besser. Yeah, he's going to get traded to Minnesota. Wow. With That's the very cool. last pick in the draft, I will gladly Brock Besser to sit on my bench until he gets traded to a team that's not shit. <laughs> All right, so the draft is done. The results are in. Uh, HP, let's start with you this time. Let's uh, let's have you read off your roster here. All right, read off my roster. I'm not super confident in this team, and I know I shouldn't say this as a GM because every GM is like, I like my team, and then they trade half their team. Anyway, uh, Sebastian Ajo, Mika Zibanejad, Nico Heischer, Jordan Cairo, who he needs to have a bounce back here this year. He will. Joel er- Jules Erickson Eck. Nope. <laughs> Jesper Blatt. Jesper Blatt. Uh, Sam Reinhardt. Valeri Nachuskin, Nachuskin, like Kale McCarr, Alex Pia, Pietrangelo, 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 M- Miro Haskinen, Devin, Devon Taves. Is it Devin or Devon? Whatever. No, Devon. Devon. Dimitri Orlov, uh, Gustav Forsling. I, I kind of like my like my defenseman right there. I kind of like that. like your defenseman. Yeah. Uh, Gustav Forsling. Ricard Raquel. Okay. I'm going to screw this up again. Ellie Tolvanen. Oh, I got it right. Mm-hmm. Owen Power, Matt Duchesne, Colton Pareko, and in net, Andre Vasilevsky. Well, not for the first four weeks. Devin Levi, and the number one cop on the force, Sergei Bobrovsky. I love that you got Bobrovsky. He's ranked low. You got him. You got him. Yeah, I don't know why he's ranked low. I mean, Florida. Is not a rank. Yeah. Especially for fantasy value, but that's good. All right, Joey. All Minnesota. right. Prison Mike's hoser is coming at you. Uh, we we kept Brady Kachuk, Nikita Kucherov, Leon Dreisaitl, um Adrian Kempe, Elias Pedersen, Alex DeBrinket, uh, Bo Hobart, uh, Jared McCann. I like McCann. Yeah. Moving uh, to my defenseman, Charlie uh, McAvoy, uh, Rasmus Anderson, Adam Larson. Very happy about this pick, man. I was pumped to get him. We talked about it. Luke Hughes, um, Brent Burns, Noah Dobson, Trevor Segris, Jonathan Marceso, Tony D'Angelo, Tyson Berry, Matt Zuccarello, Lucas Reichel. Goaltender matchings, Aaron Linus Olmark, and Thatcher Demko. Oh, I like that. Two goalie set. I've ranked I think- that, and I've done well with just two goalies, so that's, that's solid. <laughs> You have I, I didn't I didn't have a good goalie uh, situation last year, so sometimes you don't need to worry about it. If if you're if you're really top heavy on the forwards, and if you have a, a good enough defense for this league, you don't. I've I've won this league with crap goalies, so like, <laughs> yeah. You've got three defensemen who I think are just going to be absolute point scoring machines. 
And then the rest of your defense are all guys who hit and block shots. So for those categories, like you, you balance your defense very, yeah. very well. And you also, with your last pick, and this isn't a homer take, got probably the top three scorer by the end of the season on the Blackhawks. Yeah, I think I, I Reichel mean, is about to break out and be our top in our top yeah, three. If he's score. lower than third on points for Chicago, something was shocked. I'll be, I'll be shocked. Right, something I'm not going to be mad if he's. <laughs> The top five, not the top three, but if he's below the top five, then yeah, not something. Yeah, something's off. he's got to go back to uh, Rockford at that point, <laughs> right? I mean, at that point, I'll just drop him and pick up whoever. But yeah, uh, Dan, you want me to go? You can. You can. Yeah, you, you go for it. All right, Dan will finish us off. All right, so obviously, leading off the uh, my 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 team name is that's got to be Kane. <laughs> For any WWE fans out there, you'll remember pause for that. two seconds. Did Kane go undrafted? He did. Yes, he did. <laughs> I just had I to make sure because my goodness. Had we had <laughs> one more roster spot available, I was going to stash him on my well to, <laughs> as, to be honest, Joel. In all honesty, I, I was pretty close to putting my 401k on you taking Patrick Kane with the last pick. <laughs> you actually it was close. So if I can before I go through my roster, it was between it was between Brock Besser, Patrick Kane, or John Klingberg since he's on Toronto, but I already had two mm. Maple Leafs. I didn't yeah. want to take the third. As soon as Kane signs somewhere, you're going to pick him up off the waiver wire. <laughs> Depending on where he signs. If he signs not on a not team if that's kind of like – Well, yeah. If he, if he signs on like – if he signs like with Detroit. But Can anyway. you imagine if he signs somewhere in like December and by February that team is like trading him to a contender again? That'd be hilarious. He signs with like absolutely hilarious Ottawa. I would. Applaud. He's gonna sign with Buffalo. That's my prediction. I would applaud Buffalo. that GM. He should sign with Buffalo because I think that he should sign. I with Carolina. disagree. Well, you're wrong. Anyway, sure. all right. So the team name that's got to be Kane, but that team name is subject to change. That I didn't say my team name. Oh well. Um, Connor McDavid, Mitch Marner, Artemi Panarin, Connor Bedard, Alex. T- Matt Boldy, Brandon Hagel, Ivan Barbashev, and then on the decor we got Jacob Chikrin, Victor Hedman, Dougie Hamilton, Zach Wierenski, Keandre Miller, Ampus Lindholm, Jared Spurgeon also on the defense there. Uh, a couple bench spots we got Joe Pavelski, Max Domi, Philip Forsberg, and Brock Besser. And then in net we got Igor Shesterkin, Vita Vanacek, and Aiden Hill. I think you have more current and former Hawks players on your team than the three of us have combined Hawks and Wild players. What? Former? Outside of Max Domi yeah. and Brandon Hagel. Who else? Didn't you say Panarin? Oh, Panarin. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's even that's at least team. three. Uh, okay. Well, I only Max have Domi, one. Max Domi had a cup of coffee here. All right. Like, Artemi Panarin okay. is really the only. Artemi Panarin's the only real true ex hawk, I guess. Brandon Hagel, too, even though Kyle from Chicago was cooking on that trade. <laughs> yeah. Kyle from Chicago. <laughs> he was also <laughs> cooking on the Sam Lafferty trade because Sam Lafferty got traded today for a fifth. We traded him and Jake McCabe for a first and a second. And I forgot his name. Joey Anderson, I think. Is it Joey? <laughs> Joey. Yeah. Who got put on waivers today, but I'm sure he'll make it down to Rockford. Dan. All right. Headlines. All right. My squad. I went very heavy on centers with my forward group. You tend uh, to do that. By, <laughs> by design. It's uh, smart. Austin Matthews, Sidney Crosby, Timo Meyer, Dylan Cousins, Kevin Fiala, Zach Hyman, Evgeny Malkin, Tyler Bertuzzi. Defensively. Adam Fox, Moritz Sider, Darnell Nurse, Chris Letang. Utilities were Bo Byram and Dawson Mercer. I went with four goaltenders. I went with Jake Ottinger, Alex Gorgiev, Frederick Anderson, and Stuart Skinner. And then the other bench spots, uh, Neil Pionk, Robert Thomas, Mark Stone, and Jonathan Druin. Nice. Your Jonathan Druin pick is absolutely a steal. Yeah. yeah, if he I stays on that top line, because yeah. the other thing too is Duchesne was not listed on uh, Colorado's lineup right now, which has me concerned. Duchesne, like where? Duchesne's in Dallas or Dal- Wait, Dallas? He's in Dallas. I thought he was. Yeah. 
Shane's in Dallas. I googled something and it said Colorado. So no, because I, I, I just I drafted him. Where is he? He's right here. Hold on. Right to Shane. Dallas. Oh yeah, yeah. third yeah, third line Dallas. Yeah, he's third line Dallas. Okay. We I, was do say, I don't know what I was looking at. There. Said Colorado. But he, I, I mean, he was in Colorado. Yeah, I Colorado. I googled Matt Duchesne. I was looking like I was like, wait, where's where's he at? Because didn't Colorado <laughs> like bring him back? But no, I was, I was thinking of somebody else. So, um, I wish I could edit that part out of the show, but we can't. <laughs> I mean, you could. <laughs> nope. No. Nope. No. It's gotta stay now. It's gotta stay. Um, but yeah, um, the, the Drew value could be there. See, now I had a completely opposite drafting strategy than you. You went for four goalies. I went for two. Mm-hmm. Something I learned in my fantasy baseball uh, league this year was sometimes you just got to lose a category. Yes. Okay. Right? Oh, God. Absolutely. And, and for me, you know what? If I lose wins, I lose wins, right? I mean, I tried in my fantasy baseball league this year to make some trades to win those categories I was losing, and it blew up in my face, and – Sometimes you just got to lose category. Yep. For me, That's- I'll always dump plus minus. Give me guys who score goals on bad teams all yep. day. Yeah. I was looking at Matias Michelli late in the draft with Arizona. Um, I watch for him to have another. I saw like, him too. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. I remember a year I made it. I didn't win, but I made it to the championship in this league that this year. Mm-hmm. That this year I'm referencing, and I had at least two defensemen in the minus twenty range. Yeah, one of them was Eric Carlson, and actually, I think it was, the other one was Brent Burns, and they were both on uh, San Jose at the time. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I won this league a couple of years ago and had Rasmus Ristolainen, who is the worst plus-minus player in the league and could be worst in the history of the league. In the years, all is said and done because yeah. he hits and block shots. So it's it's all it's all playing to the categories. That's part of the fun of fantasy yeah. hockey, trying to figure out. <laughs> I got a, I got a live, I got a live reaction. I got a DM from Mateo on Twitter. This Uh-oh. is perfect to, this is perfect for the show. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, hey, I got words for you. Four exclamation points. Why did you have to take Boldy before the pick I was going to pick him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because because we knew. <laughs> Was sitting on that one, he's like, "There's zero chance that Joel takes Boldy here. Zero chance." He probably thought one, me or Dan was going to take him. Yeah, probably. I, I'm telling him because I love to watch the world burn. <laughs> I, I'm going to throw this one around the horn, and Joey. I'm going to start with you. Do you have any fantasy like sports? It doesn't even have to be fantasy hockey, but fantasy superstitions. Um. I, I think this one I, I would I don't know if it's a superstition more so than a tactic. Um I don't do any big major preparation. Mm-hmm. Um That's I used to get really into it and I would have I would have draft boards, notes, everything. Then you get in the draft and anything goes. And all of that, you're crossing yep. stuff out. You're I've just stopped doing all that now. Um I don't know if it's a superstition, I don't know if it's a practice, but for me. I just have stopped doing all of that. I, I do enough research to I know guys. I know where value's at. But yeah, you don't think Matt Duchesne is on a different team than where he's actually? It's <laughs> <laughs> a big one. It's huge. It's huge. I still can't believe I flubbed that one. Anyway. I I'm kind of with Joey on that. Any fantasy, like I'll prepare. I guess. I remember I used to really like have the sleeper articles up all in a bunch of different tabs or on my phone or whatever, whether that's, especially in the NFL, I usually did that a lot with fantasy football this year. I didn't. And I actually like regretted it at first. I was like, Oh man, like my fantasy football teams are like decent, but like, mm-hmm. it's one of those, like kind of like HP where like with your team for this draft, you were like, eh, like I like it, but I'm kind of hesitant right. about it. Like that's how like all four of my football leagues were. And so far, it's turning out like it started out that way. I went 0 for 4, 0 for 8 the first two weeks of football. Mm. I did not get a win in any of my fantasy leagues. Yikes. And then all of a sudden, now I'm like back up above 500 in pretty much most of the leagues. Like it just, it just all depends. And some shit just takes some players just take some time to get going. And hockey specifically for fantasy, kind of similar, I guess, in a way to baseball where like it just, it's a long season. It's a it's hard. Dan, you're at four, five hockey leagues. I don't know how the hell you do that. 
The, it, yeah, it depends on if this last one like reactivates, but I oh. I hope we do because I won it last year. So I, will, <laughs> so I have to. We, we do have we have half the league in here. Mm-hmm. Do we want to do this year for money? We didn't do it last year. Do we want to do some do do some sh- some some coin Let's, on this this year's league? We'll we'll put it to a, a league vote, but I I yeah. think well yeah we'll put it to a league vote. Right, but we have half the league in here right now, so let's get four votes right now. I say yay. I would say depending on the price, yay. Yeah, I agree. Depending on the price, yay. We're not. I'm not. not I, I, I know, but okay. <laughs> one of my fantasy leagues that I'm in is a hundred dollar buy. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's a no yeah. for Wait, me. Uh, hockey. Hockey. Wow, that's yeah. a no for I, me. Uh, <laughs> my most expensive football league was fifty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, my most expensive football is uh, is 100 and uh, fantasy baseball. I don't remember. It was like 80 or 100. I can't remember. What it was. Most, of, most of my hockey leagues I'm in were, are free. That's why I like this one. I always try. I was going to say like 20. <laughs> yeah. 20 bucks. Yeah, 20, 20 would be. That's what it normally is, isn't it? Uh, yeah. 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 Just the last two years. Yeah. I kind of haven't yeah. really. Uh, we, we've had like such turnover with people joining. Hey, I was kind of like, since, all right, screw Since we're going to upload this, let's decide a price off air. That's fair. Yeah, fair. That's, that's fair. It that's could fair. be fifty. It could be a hundred. Maybe we'll it could be five cents right now, boys. It could be five cents. Actually, loser. No, it's not even money. The winner just gets an entire bottle of whiskey bought for them by the entire rest of the league. Still taxable. Ooh. What? Oh, all right. Tax well, it. can we buy it in Canada? Still taxable. I think they still got taxable. <laughs> I, thought they didn't they, uh, in, uh, I thought they didn't believe uh, in taxes up there. <laughs> you you might be thinking of them. Europe. Uh, no, oh, yeah. they, they have a monarchy. They, I don't, of course, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Thank goodness people are tuning into this show for hockey and not civics lessons. I know. Well, well, I, I guess, honestly, I guess spoiler, it's, it's going to be a free league screw. The, the, <laughs> the, the original question at hand here was superstitions for fantasy yeah. sports. Right? Yeah. So I guess uh, we went to me. I guess what, HP, you want to go next? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I also don't have any superstitions or traditions or whatever else you said. I'm, I'm with you, Joey. I don't prepare as, as much. Uh, and yeah, I don't really prepare. I mean, I know enough about each sport that I, I'm only in football and hockey. I don't do baseball or basketball. I don't know enough about basketball. I don't follow it enough. And I know uh, I don't follow it enough. Um, but a couple years ago, Dan, we were in that league with um, the sound, the foghorn league with like 20 teams in it. Oh God. That and was, it was, was I remember most- sitting in the draft going, who the fuck is this guy that I'm drafting <laughs> yep. right now? Cause we were drafting players. I had no idea who they were. Yeah. yeah. And I, I consider myself tough. a, like good hockey fan, you know. Yeah, that's tough. Like, so when you get into deep drafts like that, like I mean, now there's plenty of people available who I'm, you know, that are weren't drafted that I know, and so yeah, that was a tough one. But yeah, I don't really have any superstitions yeah. or prepare. Or... I drafted Liam Foodie in that league because that's, that's right. how deep it was, and there was like talk that he was going to crack an NHL roster for yep. talk. Columbus. Yeah, yeah, that's how <laughs> like, deep it was. That, that was how deep it was because you're that's talking rough. 20 fantasy teams and like you're doing more than just four forward 3d two goalie like you're oh, doing God. like eight picks so like the our benches like nobody was getting bench guys yep That's and that was with that was with a bunch of guys who were very bright hockey minds i mean brett yeah. marshall and those and state of hoppy and those guys like yep. just good hockey minds so they know their shit and trying to compete with them in a 20 team league just that was unfair. <laughs> 20, 20 team NFL you can get away with because of just how few roster spots there are for fantasy football. Yeah. Yeah. Fantasy hockey, 20 is ridiculous. That's a lot. Yeah. See, now on the flip side, cool I, oh, yeah, my fantasy fun. take, I guess, mm-hmm. like hopping off HP real quick. If you want to get into a league, um, like Fantrax has a, a bunch of different, you could do college mm-hmm. sports, all this stuff. We actually did a Missouri Valley Conference only uh, fantasy league last year. Me and Ooh. some of the guys I, I roomed Ooh. with, and, and some of the guys down at Bradley, and we got really in to the Missouri Valley. Con- I mean, I knew three quarters of probably every team's roster. Was that for football or basketball? Basketball, yeah, college basketball. Yeah. College and basketball. And that was sweet. That was absolutely talk about like who the frick mm. is this guy? But yeah. like, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> 
it was a lot of fun. And, and the, that sounds like a blast, actually. I mean, and those guys in that group, I mean, uh, you know, Joel and Dan know some of them, you know, um, Colin Carville, Anthony Sperando, mm-hmm. um, Kenny Gould, Aaron Ferguson. I mean, those guys are great. I mean, Matt Ross, next, he's a Vikings guy, too. Yeah, he sure is, man. Poor guy. Yeah. He just welcomed his son Michael into the world, and uh, we got another, oh, as cool. he said, another scolder. So yeah, nice. <laughs> that's how we do. It. So yeah, that's my fantasy take. If you want to get yeah. into like a niche league, I guess you could say, you know, that's yeah. kind yeah. of cool. Mantrax is great for those like niche leagues and and yeah. customizability. I'm in one that's I, I was in... and and Joel did it for last year, just to, like try it out. But it is a salary cap. Um, it was tough. Salary cap with dynasty for like, you can trade draft picks five years out. Like the it's nerdiness, wow. the nerdiness uh, of yeah. it. I I loved that so much. Like the nerding out of it, and my team mm-hmm. did horrible. So I ended up with what was it, second and third overall, right? Yeah, yeah. You got two. Yeah, you got picks two and three overall. And I left. And you left your. Team. I left. I was like, well, I'm. I'm that for one. I'm not going to get Bedard. Two. I could get Fantilli and Carlson. Was, or whoever, those but picks right. turned into Fantilli and Mitchkov, by the way. Right. Ooh. Which that's going to be a sick team, and then in a couple of years, in but five like, years, that squad is going to be a wagon. Yeah, it's that's the thing. Like, I remember, like, it was also one of the ones where, like, it was like you set the lineup like daily, but it's for that. It was weird. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you, you do it daily, but you still had to stay under the cap. For, yeah, it was like and that again. That's cool. I just was like, I don't have. You I don't just, have the time. For I that, did yeah. not have the time to like always. Go. And I remember the commissioner was a really nice dude. He just kept like reaching out to me, like, "Hey, you gotta, you gotta get your roster like back to the legal thing." And I'm like, mm. "Shit, is it illegal again? Like, what the hell? It was just legal <laughs> a minute ago. Like, it was yeah, fun so you'd, yesterday. You'd, guy, you'd move him to injured reserve, and then he'd be healthy, and you couldn't keep him on IR. And then when you activate him, it would put you back over the cap. Didn't I? I had Logan Cooley, didn't I? I think so. I can I can look I think, at that team. I think my team had Logan Cooley. Josh Norris was on that team. Well, Logan Cooley didn't play the in the NHL the last. I year. know, but he got. I know, but he got. Oh, he was on your. But, okay. but again, because you're drafting yeah. prospects. In yeah, this he was league. a prospect. Okay, and actually, I think man, I that's tough. Thanks to, thanks to Dan. That, that's a lot. I mean, I'd love to try that, but that's an awful lot. <laughs> it's you know what, guys? That's what I ha- That's why I play Chell. Yeah, I got the new one. I'm excited to finally play it. I bought it, but I haven't actually had time to play it. But maybe I'll play that a little bit before I go to sleep. <laughs> but uh, well, that was the uh, that is the I'm going to call it the second annual fantasy draft pod snipe Sally show because we've only we've done this league for now like a decade. But mm-hmm. we've we've had some members come and go. Dan and I and HP have been three of the constants. Joey will be a new constant. Mm-hmm. That's yep. true. <laughs> I won my first fantasy hockey championship in this league, I believe. Dan, is that correct? I believe. You, yeah, you beat me in the finals a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. You've won more than one because didn't you beat me in the finals one year too? That sounds right. Maybe I got two. Yeah. We'll go back and check the league history on it. Yeah. There was there was a good portion while – this would be while Joey and I were still in college. Dan, you were there for two years of the league, and then you graduated. But Joey and I were mm. still at Bradley for the four years we did it, or at least that I we had it at Bradley. I remember it was pretty much just an inevitable, like it was Dan and I in the finals every year. <laughs> I have never finished lower than second in this league. <laughs> wow! Last year was my worst. I didn't even make the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, it's it's alternated every other year. That's because like, Joey came in and was the sleeper juggernaut GM. <laughs> hey, I mean, as Abby told me the other night on the couch, you've always been the hockey mind in the group. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I'm slipping, but it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. All right, it's there. <laughs> but all right, that's that's that. We could uh, probably end the video there, I think. I mean, we'll probably stay in chat. But Joey, HP, thank you guys again for hopping on, yeah. just like you did last year. Anytime. Fun. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for having me. With us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, one more time, tomorrow night, 8, 7 Central, our preview show. Tune in. We'll see you there. Um, but for Thanks Joey, to you too. Both tune in. <laughs> for Joey, yeah. HP, and Joel, I'm Dan. Enjoy your night, everybody. Go Hawks. Yeah. <laughs>